Hey, it's Totally Cody here, back with another TV show reaction, and today we're going to be starting Season 3 of The Big Bang Theory, okay? So, Part 1 is going to be Episodes 1, 2, and 3, alright? The way this is going to work, since there's 23 episodes in this season, I think there's 23 last season as well, but we're going to do three parts for up to, or three episodes per part for about five parts, and then the last two will have all four. So that's how we're going to do it. That way it makes it easier, and it's easier for me to, like, mentally put it all together but i'm excited to see where this goes the last time we saw was season two ended with penny showing that she didn't want leonard to leave but then they all went to antarctica or not antarctica i'm sorry the north pole that's where they went um and it basically the season ended right there it didn't say anything else it didn't really lead us in a direction that they might be going somewhere else with it or if they're just going to go back home but I'm excited to see where this goes. So let's get this started. If you guys would like to watch my full length reaction to Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and look for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's check out the Big Bang Theory. Oh my god. <laughs> God, we're home. I don't know what Arctic expedition you guys were on, but I thought it was a hoot and a half. <laughs> oh, hi, Mom. I love the fact that they grew full beards and long hair during that, and Sheldon's the only one that doesn't have all that. No, Mother, I could not feel your church group praying for my safety. <laughs> the fact that I'm home safe does not prove that it worked. That logic is post hoc ergo propter hoc. <laughs> No, I'm not sassing you in Eskimo talk. <laughs> I'm gonna go let Penny know we're back. Mother, I have to go. Yeah, love you. Bye. Hello, old friend. Oh my god. <sighs> <laughs> Daddy's home. Leonard, you're back. Yeah, I just stopped by to say... <laughs> oh. Yeah, so hi. <laughs> oh my goodness. Damn it, I should have gone over and told her we were back. <laughs> yeah, it was first come, first serve. Do this. <laughs> I love this show so much, it's like funny. I just want you both to know, when I publish my findings, I won't forget your contributions. Grace. And of course, I can't mention you in my Nobel acceptance speech, but when I get around to writing my memoirs, you can expect a very effusive footnote and perhaps a signed copy. We need to talk to you about something that happened at the North Pole. Oh, if God. this is about the night the heat went out, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I know what happened during that part. He's speaking about it. <laughs> For me, it was a bonding moment. We were looking for magnetic monopoles and not finding anything, and you were acting like an obnoxious giant dictator. But I thought we were going to be gentle with him. That's why I added the tater. When we finally got our first positive data, you were so happy. Oh, yes. In the world of emoticons, I was colon capital D. Here it comes. What did they do? <laughs> Evidence of paradigm shifting monopoles as it was. Here we go. Static from the electric can opener we were turning on and off. He just went colon capital O. Oh my god! Did Leonard know about this? Leonard's my best friend in the world. Surely Leonard didn't know. Oh Actually, no. It was his idea. Of course, oh no! Plan reeks of Leonard. <laughs> I miss Ooh. you so much! I miss you too! Leonard. 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 Uh oh. He heard Whispering that. Whispering do not make a sound. <laughs> is a sound. What? Hello, Penny. I realize you're currently at the mercy of your primitive biological urges, but as you have an entire oh my lifetime God. of poor decisions ahead of you, may I interrupt this one? <laughs> it's great to see you too. Come on in. That was great, actually. Whoa. Okay, can someone please tell me what's going on here? What's going on is I was led to believe I was making groundbreaking strides in science when, in fact, I was being fed false data at the hands of Wallowitz, Kuther Polly, and your furry little boy toy. <laughs> Way to make him happy. 
Why did you have to make him happy? Because when he wasn't happy, we wanted to kill him. <laughs> there was even a plan. <laughs> we were going to throw his Kindle outside, and when he went to get it, lock the door and let him freeze to death. Oh my god. Look, we kept the original data. You can still publish the actual results. Yes, but the actual results are unsuccessful. And I've already sent an email to everyone at the university explaining that I have confirmed string theory and forever changed man's understanding of the universe. Set the record straight, it's no big deal. This is a big deal for Sheldon, actually. It's not a big deal. All you did was lie to me, destroy my dream, and humiliate me in front of the whole university. Aren't you gonna go talk to him? Well, I, I, he'll be fine. The guy's a trooper. Come here. No, you're right. You shouldn't talk to him. I will. Literally. Like, I will say this. Not catch a break. Leonard, Leonard kind of screwed the pooch on that one because literally that was big to Sheldon. And I actually feel bad for Sheldon that that happened. Soft kitty, warm kitty. That's for when I'm sick. Sad is not sick. Oh, well. Sorry, I don't know your sad song. I don't have a sad song. I'm not a child. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when I was a senior in high school, one of my friends heard I was going to be named head cheerleader. Oh, I was so excited. My mom even made me a celebration pie. Then they named stupid Valerie Mossbacher head cheerleader. Big old slut bag. Oh, my God. <laughs> and on a different but not unrelated topic, based on your current efforts to buoy my spirits, do you truly believe that you were ever fit to be a cheerleader? Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, Sheldon, I just don't think that the guys and, and Leonard really meant to hurt you. He literally is getting help from Penny, and he's returning it with very sadistic comebacks. This movie when Kirk has to take over the ship, so he tells Spock all that stuff he knew wasn't true, like saying Spock didn't care his mom died. Did you watch I'm the movies? Con Connie, I'm the new Star Trek movie. <laughs> She's watching it? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even... I'm not... Not even gonna say what that looks like, but okay. I call them Mario and Luigi, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's Sheldon doing? Did you and Penny finally, you know? How? I, personally, I don't care, but my genitals wanted me to ask. <laughs> well, uh, tell your genitals what I do with Penny is none of their business. Sheldon, over here. Oh no. Oh no. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon, why are you sitting by yourself? Because I am without friends. Like the proverbial cheese, I stand alone. Oh, what by God. Wedgie with twaction email. Way to destroy your reputation. There it is. You see? Now you got Kripke doing and laughing it. At me all morning. It's not true. People have been pointing and laughing at you your whole life. <laughs> I've had enough. The physics department might know my career trajectory has taken a minor detour. Off a quiff. <laughs> <laughs> my credibility may have been damaged completely whacked but i would like to remind you that in science there's no such thing as failure the single biggest blunder of his career that man's name was surprise surprise albert einstein yeah but we search into dark energy proved that einstein's cosmological constant was actually white all on so you're still surprise surprise a woozer <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry Sheldon. You think you're so clever. You know what, though? Sheldon has Sheldon. a right to be mad about well, this. We'll always have the night the heat went out. <laughs> no, Raj. No. Oh, boy. <laughs> what is it? It's a snowflake from the North Pole. Oh, uh, there's nothing serious? there. Serious? <laughs> It'll last forever. I preserved it in a 1% solution of polyvinyl acetyl resin. Oh my God, that's the most romantic thing anyone's ever said to me that I didn't understand. <laughs> it's actually a pretty simple process. You see, cyanoacrylates are monomers which polymerize on... There it goes. <laughs> Sheldon ran away. Man, I cannot catch a break. <laughs> No, he ran away. Look, well, he's not answering his phone. He handed in his resignation at the university, and he sent me a text that said, I'm running away. Uh, Howard, you check the comic book store. Raj, go to the Thai restaurant. I'll stay here with Penny in her apartment. <laughs> oh, damn it. It's Sheldon's mother. A break cannot be caught. I guess it kind of is our fault. Oh, no. No, 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 you're, you're right. Someone needs to come talk to him. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Yeah. 
All right. <sighs> New plan. Howard, you and Raj go to Texas. I'll stay here with Penny in her apartment. <laughs> yeah, come on, I don't want to go to Texas. <laughs> oh, right, and I do. My people already crossed the desert once. We're done. Wow. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Trust me, you'll be fine. See you. Just go help Sheldon. Really? Yeah, we waited a few months. We can wait a few more days. <laughs> oh, no. A whole season's gonna go by. Maybe you can. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Shelly. Thanks, Mom. Hold your horses, young man. Here in Texas, we pray before we eat. Oh, Mom. This is not California land of the heathen. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Please know that we are truly grateful for every cup and every plateful. Amen. <laughs> what in the Dr. Seuss was that? Yeah, that wasn't so hard, was it? My objection was based on considerations other than difficulty. <laughs> if you recall when you were little, we sat right here at this very spot. And we talked about some of the problems you had getting along with the neighbor kids. It was different. They were threatened by my intelligence and too stupid to know that's why they hated me. <laughs> <laughs> what is with the hat? <laughs> I can't believe you bought a red cowboy hat. Hello, I'm wearing a red turtleneck. So? Why are you wearing a turtleneck? This does not look like Texas. Where's the tumbleweeds? Where's the saloons? Saloons? Yeah, like in the movies I saw growing up in India. You know, Those... uh, four for Texas. Yellow Rose of Texas. This Those are literally from Texas like the 40s. Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> they probably have steaks on sale at that big-ass Costco over there. <laughs> Howdy, ma'am. Howdy to you, too. You got here quick. Uh, we took the red eye. Well, come on in. Thank you kindly. Can I, can I get you something to drink? I'm hankering for a Lone Star beer. Oh, my God, Howard. There's no alcohol in this household. Stop talking like that and lose the hat. <laughs> oh, you still having trouble talking to the ladies? <laughs> because you know at our church, we have a woman who's an amazing healer. Mostly she does uh, crutch and wheelchair people. But I what bet she'd be willing to take a shot at whatever third world demon is running around inside of you. This uh, woman you just doesn't this, see what she's saying. Back to Los Angeles <laughs> and you have no idea how much I want to be on it. A girl? Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, good. I've been praying for you. What are they doing here? Well, we came to apologize. Again. And bring you home. So why don't you pack up your stuff and we'll head back? No. This is my home now. Thanks to you, my career is over trying to teach evolution to creationists. <laughs> <laughs> you watch your mouth, Shelley. <laughs> Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Evolution isn't an opinion, it's fact. <laughs> I forgive you. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me prayer doesn't work. <laughs> it took one conversation. Finally caught a break. Oh my god. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know how they say when friends have sex it can get weird? Mm -hmm. Why does it have to get weird? I don't know. We're more than friends. We're whatever this is. But why label it, right? I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> Leonard. Yeah? It's weird. Totally. <laughs> Sheldon, you're wrong. Wolverine was not born with bone claws. Howard, you know me to be a very smart man. Don't you think if I were wrong, I'd know it? Well, Give it up, dude. You're arguing with a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> what are you doing here? Since you and Benny finally hooked up, we thought you two would be having bouncy, naked, yum-yum night. <laughs> There's more to life than sex, Raj. Okay, who had Leonard flames out with Penny in less than 24 hours? I did. Maybe we're getting to know each other. There's a learning curve. What's there to learn? You get naked, do nasty things to each other, then somebody makes scrambled eggs and salami. Easy peasy. <laughs> you scrambled eggs and salami? The sex was just fine. Just fine. Oh, dude, the fourth Harry Potter movie was just fine. No, it was not. It was I'm phenomenal. Not you it was shut bad. your I'm mouth. Saying, to tell you the truth, I think we were both a little 
I don't know. Disappointed? Let down? Ashamed? Horrified? Repulsed? <laughs> All I know is it wasn't the way I dreamed it would be. <sighs> Sex is never the way I dream it's gonna be. <laughs> Wolverine Origin miniseries issue 2, page 22, retractable bone claws. If you people spent less time thinking about sex and more time concentrating on comic books, we'd have far fewer of these embarrassing moments. <laughs> then nearly 14 million years ago, expansion started way The earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to drool, the unraveling, the mystery that all started with a big bang. <laughs> <laughs> why do I do this? I don't know why. Children, dinner's here. No, we went somewhere new. No. <laughs> This is not a good idea already. You're good-naturedly ribbing me, aren't you? <laughs> no, one by palace. Why? Trust me, this will be just fine. <sighs> you are the authority on just fine. <laughs> Wasn't it exactly like uh, Leonard switching out food or whatever from one restaurant to another just to convince Sheldon it was the same thing? I was saying, you and Leonard had a disappointing sexual encounter. Well, earlier this evening, Leonard characterized it as just fine. So no! Was a continuation of the mocking that followed. No! <laughs> Penny, wait! Uh, what is wrong with you? I sense I may have crossed some sort of line. <laughs> Let's see if he can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Please don't be mad. What did you tell them? Nothing bad. Just that last night was fine. Fine? Yeah, it's a perfectly good word. But you, you put it in front of wine or dining and you've really got something. <laughs> I see both sides of the spectrum okay, with well, this. Like, I get why Penny's upset. How was last night for you? It was... okay. Okay? Yeah, it's a perfectly good word. I mean, you put it in front of dokey and you really got something. <laughs> Want a glass of wine? So much. Okay. <laughs> see, we should have done this last night, you know? Have a little wine, take the edge off. Actually, ethyl alcohol inhibits electrical conduction in the nerve cells. Tori neurotransmitters like amyl Leonard, shut up. Acid. <laughs> Leonard, stop talking, please. <laughs> See? Stop talking. Don't talk, just drink. <laughs> Is this it? It was inappropriate to discuss Leonard and Penny's sex life in front of Leonard and Penny. Yes, there oh, you go. God. Bingo, 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 we have a winner. Now I can eat. Sounds like a cricket. Hang on. <laughs> Based on the number of chirps per minute and the ambient temperature in this room, it is a snowy tree cricket. Oh, God. How could you possibly know that? In 1890, Emile Dolbert determined that there was a fixed relationship between the number of chirps per minute of the snowy tree cricket and the ambient temperature. <laughs> a precise relationship that is not... Do you ever know that when he explains things, his, his veins pop out of his neck? Under the terms of my roommate agreement with Leonard, I've had unilateral control of the thermostat ever since the sweaty night of 06. <laughs> Okay, you were right about Wolverine and Bone Claws, but you're wrong about the cricket. No, uh, no, not this time. I know insects, my friend. I spent many childhood years capturing them with nets, putting them in glass jars, sticking pins through them, mounting them on corrugated cardboard with Dymo labels underneath identifying the genus and species. That was a lot of information. Oh, dude, you are never getting a Shiksa goddess. <laughs> That is a snowy tree cricket, Ecanthus fultoni. I was done with Latin by fifth grade. What's the matter, you chicken? I've always found that an inappropriate slur. Chickens are not by nature at all timid. In fact, when I was young, my neighbor's chicken got loose and chased me up the big elm tree in front of our house. <laughs> what stakes do you propose? This is getting serious now. I will put up my Fantastic Four number 48 first appearance of Don't Silver do Surfer it. against... Your Flash 123, the classic Flash of Two Worlds issue. You have a wager. <laughs> oh my. Great. Now how are you going to settle it, hmm? There is no way to determine the species of the cricket without examining it. You know, <laughs> they didn't think about that. I wonder what the non-pathetic people are doing tonight. <laughs> Oh my. More wine? Hit me. I was gonna say, are we gonna talk? <laughs> like. 
and I don't see anything. How do you know it's out in the hallway? You heard it in the room. Oh, God. What was that? My stomach. Oh, God, I thought it was and a dog. doesn't agree with me. On an empty elevator shaft? Fine. If you don't want to proceed, then you forfeit the bet, and I'll take possession of your Fantastic Four. Let's open her up. <laughs> I may be small, but I took Kung Fu when I was 13, and I remember a good deal of it. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I grew up with an older brother and a very contentious twin sister, and I believe I could easily best you in any physical confrontation, be it noogies, swirlies, or the classic, why are you hitting yourself? How much are you guys gonna drink? <laughs> what are we drinking now? Peppermint schnapps. <laughs> Because I like peppermint, and it's fun to say schnapps. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leonard. What? Schnapps. <laughs> be careful. If I were not being careful, you're telling me to be careful would not make me careful. Oh, no. Stairwell. Hello? Oh, no. It's really dark down here. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, sweetie. Just a little mouthwash and then I'm gonna rock your world. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Toby, what did you do in a past life to be so disgusting now? Toby is an absurd name for a cricket. What would you name him? An appropriate cricket name? For example, like. Jiminy? <laughs> How did I know that was coming? Right, Sheldon, here we go. Klein Gas Field Guide to North American Insects. Hey, Toby. Voila, the snowy tree cricket, AKA Ecanthus Fultoni, which is Latin for I'll suck nothing. <laughs> of course, I'm joking because the Latin for that is Nahil Exor Bebo. <laughs> it's not Toby. God, I had the most horrible night. What happened? Obviously another carnal fiasco with the Shixi goddess. <laughs> Shixa. Shixa. Forgive me, Yiddish was not spoken in East Texas. I tell you what, let's get down to the entomology department and let Professor Crawley tell us what kind of cricket Toby is. He's a snowy tree cricket and his name is Jiminy. <laughs> I bet I could throw a rock in this room and come up with three better friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see spiders. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's like, well, I don't like bugs, okay? They freak me out. Interesting. You're afraid of insects and women. Ladybugs must render you catatonic. <laughs> <laughs> don't knock. Just walk in. Why be polite to the world's leading expert on the dung beetle? Excuse Is me. Is that a, supposed to be a, Crawley? like, accomplishment? Who wants to know? What's a world-renowned entomologist with a doctorate and 20 years of experience to do with his life when the university cuts off the funding for his lab, huh? Go work for Uber. Ask rhetorical questions that make people uncomfortable. We're here, let's settle this. Professor, can you identify our cricket? Of course I can. I can identify every insect and arachnid on the planet. Then do it. Not that that's gonna keep me from having to move in with my daughter in Oxnard. Well, could you look at Toby? Toby? <laughs> Stupid name for a cricket. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> it's a field cricket. Yes, just wait. Uh, Dr. Crawley, are you sure? You know what they used to call me in school? Creepy Crawley. <laughs> Cruel as that may be, that is not in itself a credential. <laughs> Let me show you something. That's a Crawley's dung beetle. I discovered it after spending six months slogging through the Bornean rainforests while my wife was back home shacking up with a two-bit ornithologist to wear boot-cut jeans. Oh, my God. So when the I horror. tell you that that's a common field cricket, you can take that to the damn bank because God knows I can't. That tramp took me for everything. Oh, my God. Somebody get this guy a life. Enjoy Oxnard. <laughs> I'm sure your daughter's looking forward to having you. Oh, hey, Sheldon. What you got there? A new comic book? Old comic book. I just retrieved it from my safe deposit box. 
Oh my god, it wasn't even in the house. I lost this to Wallowitz in an ill-considered cricket wager. What, do they have wee cricket now? <laughs> well, that can't be very popular. Why would that make me feel better? <laughs> I don't know, empathy? No, he doesn't have that. You know this. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just saying that you're feeling upset about something with Howard and I'm upset about something with Leonard. What's Mrs. Riley's chicken? The chicken that was owned by Mrs. Riley. <laughs> okay, forget the chicken. Oh, I wish I could. And we can always go back to being friends. But I just said that uh, this conversation has started to circle. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> Oh, you'd like to catch up on the events of the day, all right? Well, there was a half hour wait at the bank to get into my safe deposit box. I was forced to talk to Penny about your sexual problems. And oh, yes, in a moment uh. filled with biblical resonance, pride wenteth before my fall. Right, right, you're saying you talked to Penny? You yes. Interesting. Hardly. <laughs> Excuse me. Have I crossed some sort of line again? A little bit. Not on purpose. It wasn't his fault. Hey, uh, what did Sheldon say to you? Not a lot. Just that we always have the option of going back to being friends. Is that what you want? I don't know. So we'll just be friends. Good. Good. <laughs> no. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> I love this song actually. <laughs> While I subscribe to the many worlds theory, which posits the existence of an infinite number of Sheldons in an infinite number of universes, I assure you that none of them am I dancing. <laughs> Are you fun in any of them? <laughs> I tell you what, next French Toast Day, I will make you oatmeal. Dear Lord, are you still going to be here on French Toast Day? <laughs> <laughs> Did her abysmal housekeeping skills finally trump her perkiness? Oh my God. No, her bed kind of broke. <laughs> Normal sized human being wouldn't cause a structural failure, much less a homunculus such as yourself. <laughs> A homunculus? Perfectly formed miniature human being. <laughs> I want oatmeal. Yes, well, I want a boyfriend whose roommate isn't a giant pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm sure that will happen soon enough. Oh. But in the meantime, I still want oatmeal. Sheldon, you really need to find a better way of dealing with Penny. What am I supposed to do? Eat French toast on a Monday? Now that would be impossible. <laughs> I'm just saying, you can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. You can catch even more flies with manure. What's your point? Boy, that does smell good. Too bad it's Monday. That broke my heart. <laughs> you don't do that. Night manager went on maternity leave, and her husband's name is Sandy, right? So get this. Her replacement is a woman named Sandy whose husband's name is Kim. <laughs> Easily calculable. We begin by identifying the Here we go. with unisex names. We then eliminate those unqualified for restaurant work, you know, the aged, the imprisoned, and the limbless, for example. Next, we look at the seven people with... It's an amazing coincidence. Can we leave it at that? Oh, Penny. It's as if the Cheesecake Factory is run by witches. <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon, it's as if you don't think I'll punch you. Come on, you guys, let it go. Would you like a chocolate? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> that was weird. That was really weird. <laughs> what was that? There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Uh, yeah, no, no, that's you, obnoxious and insufferable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is happening here? Raj and I are going to a goth club in Hollywood to hang with the night people. Oh, no. Anybody want to come along? No. Oh, wow. You're actually going out like that? No. No, I'm going out like this. 
Those are sleeves. I'm online. Raj got a set too. <laughs> I like his actually. Fantastic, right? Put them on, have hot sex with some freaky girl with her business peers, take them off, and I can still be buried in a Jewish cemetery. You know, I've always wanted to go to a goth nightclub. Really? Bazinga. <laughs> <laughs> None of you ever see my practical jokes coming, do you? <laughs> okay, how about you two? Look, yes, she's pushy, and yes, he's whipped, but that's not the expression. Oh. Come on, I want to stop at Walgreens and pick up some more eyeliner. <laughs> Who gets eyeliner at Walgreens? Sorry, Sheldon, I almost sat in your spot. Did you? I didn't notice. Have a chocolate. <laughs> What is going on here? Rewarding her like she's a dog. Like, what's happening right now? Oh, here we go. I didn't think we were going to see this. I think we're fitting in quite nicely. I'm kind of on a John Grisham kick right now. What? Well, I finished reading the Pelican Brief and loved it so much, I dive right into the client. He was a lawyer himself, so his novels are accurate as well as entertaining. Children of the night. No. Great. Those Lost are vampires. Boys, children of the night. <laughs> Got it. Can you pass the checks mix, please? Thank you. Nice thing. Thanks. Can we buy you ladies a drink? Two light beers. Light beers? Well, Ricky, how about that? <laughs> What's your name? I'm Sarah. Not that anyone cares. <laughs> Do either of you ladies enjoy the novels of John Grisham? What? What are we watching? <laughs> because Penny looks absurd. What's this cartoon called again? Oshikuru Demon Samurai. And it's an anime. It's not a cartoon, it's anime. Yes. You're here a lot now. <laughs> oh, am I talking too much? I'm sorry. Zip. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Chocolate? <laughs> yes, please. You know what? Hold on. Let me take this in the hall. <laughs> what are you doing, Sheldon? <laughs> like... You'll never guess who they got to replace you with. You're using chocolates as positive reinforcement for what you consider correct behavior. <laughs> yeah, he's treating her like she's a dog. Very good. That's not okay. <laughs> Chocolate? <laughs> So I decided to employ operant conditioning techniques, building on the works of Thorndike and B.F. Skinner. Yet by this time next week, I believe I can have her jumping out of a pool, balancing a beach ball on her nose. Oh my God. <laughs> no, tweaking her personality. You're sanding off the rough edges, if you will. That's not okay. Not sanding Penny. Are you saying that I am forbidden from applying a harmless, scientifically valid protocol that will make our lives better? Yes. Bad Leonard. <laughs> so what do you guys do? Oh, you know, goth stuff, goth magazines, goth music, goth food. What's goth food? Uh, blackened salmon? Oh, I meant, what do you do for jobs? Oh, we're scientists. So, yeah, you know, the dark sciences. What yeah. are the dark sciences? Well, I am an astrophysicist, and a lot of that takes place at night. Well, okay, if you like space stuff, I design components for the International Space Station, which is in space. Whereas, I'm sure you know, no one can hear you scream. So what do you gals do? I work at the Gap. Really? How about that? I've been to the Gap. I've been there as well. I work there too. Not that anyone cares. Literally, somebody get this girl attention. She needs you know, it. Boring. Yeah. Why don't we go somewhere else and have some fun? I know a place you'll really dig. Oh no. What's gonna happen? Did you bring the black condoms? Hit my fanny pack. Let's go. I feel like that's not gonna end well. Yep, they're gonna get tattoos. They're gonna get more tattoos. What could she possibly be talking about for so long? Obviously, waitressing at the Cheesecake Factory is a complex socioeconomic activity that requires a great <laughs> deal of analysis and planning. <laughs> Using positive reinforcement techniques, I could train that behavior out of her in a week. No. 
If you let me use negative reinforcement, I can get it done before we go to bed. <laughs> oh my God. Not squirting her in the face with water. We're talking very mild electric shocks. Oh my God. No tissue damage whatsoever. <laughs> Forget it. Oh, come on. You can't tell me that you're not intrigued about the possibility of building a better girlfriend. You're not changing how Penny laughs. No, that would be incongruous. Now, I was going to lower the whole voice to a more pleasing register. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. That girl is freaky. <laughs> freaky? Yeah, freaky. <laughs> not the chocolate. <laughs> Have a chocolate. <laughs> Are you seriously going to deface your body just on the possibility you could have cheap sex with a strange girl you met in a bar? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is your mother going to say? She's not gonna see it. I can't really decide between a screaming devil, this mean little skull, or Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog? You know. Hi, ho, I'm on Howard's butt. Get the mean little skull. And I'll see if I can make him smile. Yeah, I'd like the mean little skull, please. What are you gonna get, Raj? With my luck, hepatitis. <laughs> what, what comes after the stencil? The needles. I got two. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay, that's it. No needle, no pain, no tattoo. It's a big deal, you've done this before. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a fraud, he's a fraud. We're both frauds. Yeah, I think I covered that. But I was summing up. <laughs> I got two tattoos, I know uh, that there's a little uh, bit of pain, yeah. Just, and I wouldn't blame you if you walked out of here and never wanted to see us again. Unless, of course, our bold honesty has suddenly made us attractive. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm leaving. Uh-oh. But the other one's still there. I'm leaving too. Not that anyone cares. <laughs> when we tell the story, let's end it differently. What are you thinking? Maybe a big musical number? <laughs> I like how the tattoo artist was staring at Howard like, what a baby. I trust if you two are planning on engaging in amorous activities, you'll keep the decibel level to a minimum. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> so good. <laughs> well, you know, my new bed got delivered. If you come over and put it together, you can stay at my place. Really? That's a lot of work, and it's kind of late. Yeah, but if we stay there, we won't have to be quiet. Let's go. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, wait. How about this? We say there were four goth girls. The two girls in the club had two friends. I like it, I like it. Uh, did they smell good despite their goth-like nature? They smelled good. Oh, they did, like jasmine and honeysuckle. Whatever. And then they held hands and did a sexy demonic hokey pokey for us. <laughs> no, no, no. But we don't have tattoos. What if someone asks to see our tattoos? We say they're in a very intimate area. Oh, we are bad boys, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> the point is, we each had a menage with sexy goth girls. Wow. Oh my god, these guys. What a great night. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're wrong. Yeah, maybe we'll get lucky with some sexy cowgirls. Could happen. <laughs> I wonder how they smell. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna I'm not gonna say it. All right, so that was part one of season three for Big Bang Theory. Gotta, gotta say it's funny. The Bazinga gets me every time, but that, that chocolate episode, that's that's too much. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. But this is a very good start to the season, so I'm excited to see where the season goes from here. If you guys would like to watch my full-length reaction to Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and look for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.